Now I have to make a long walk all the way back to the porta potties, the outhouses. I guess they're not porta potties because they're not portable. They stay where they are. <sighs> Indoor plumbing, it's gonna be big. Alright, walk to outhouses. And let's pick those up. Alright, now let's go ahead and give that to Georgie George. Yeah, keep going, what are you doing? Why won't you... The precise point on the ground you have to click. Alright. <clears throat> George, well, let's steal. How do I steal your teeth? How do I steal your teeth? You may have to wait until he pulls them out and then jack them. Because, like, wait, like, wait, he puts a cigar in his mouth, smokes, pulls it out, and, oh, come on, pick, oh, I didn't want to pick up the window, I wanted to pick up his teeth, which apparently he cannot do. Let's talk to him, see if he can steal his teeth somehow. <laughs> Whatever that means. Can I have your teeth? <laughs> I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. They'll be hanging out telling those forever. Would you give me a demonstration? But he'll only cut down kumquat trees. Dario, do you really have wooden teeth? Sure, if I'm with splinters. Come on, I gotta get his teeth. Gotta get him. I've been to war, boy. No one has heard the thunder from musket fire, smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast, felt the fear in the hearts of his comrades. I'm bothered by a little thing like, oh, he's gonna be about to get poked by one, isn't he? What about termites, woodpeckers, what about dry rot? That could be something. Hardly. Oh, I think I... Uh, where could I get some of those? I need them out of your mouth. <laughs> Just down naked. Let's go with that one. <laughs> Alright, what do you brush them with? I got a brush if you need to use them. Tastes awful. He's gonna come up with, oh, I've been to war again. We'll take them out. Okay. Do I have anything that he can... I need wood polish is what I need. I use my brush with them. <sighs> Man. Yeah, I know you do, but I need I need them. Oh, come on, there's gotta be something. I 
Got this one. Yeah. Yeah, tree trees. This is frustrating. This is really frustrating. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> what are you looking at? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Oh. I don't know what you're looking at. Oh, wait, what? This is different. The reality of abortion. Is it victimless crimes? Death penalty laws? See what issue he's contemplating. <laughs> Alright, well... I don't like you. I need you to not have your teeth in your mouth. How can I get the teeth out of his mouth? Go down here. Anything to do down here? No. Huh. Hmm. Maybe I could take the horse's teeth. Not the horse's teeth, but like the little thing next to him. I don't think I want this. Well, I think you do. What if I did that? <laughs> Let's talk to him again about his teeth. Snicker. <laughs> Laughed at by a horse. I wonder if I can use red paint on their sculpture and ruin it. These dudes might get mad. Yes, they might. Just brush off the side. You know, bits of dust. I don't want them to gather. Maybe I can distract this cat with a chattering teeth. Nope. I don't know what to do then. Probably need to find some wood polish or something. I'm thinking I found everything in this house. So I think I'm gonna have to go to the present, the Bernard times. I'm thinking that's the case. Yeah. What's going on? Meanwhilst. 400 years later, is she still hanging there? Or is someone finally going to help her? I wonder if there's like a timeline thing here. If I don't do it quick enough, she's going to like die or something. That doesn't sound... I don't know. That would suck. Alright, well let's take another look around this place. Well, I've been to part of it. There's still more to see. There might be vinegar in here, for all we know. I pick up that fork. You never know what you'll need fork for. Oh! Ooh! I, need, I can use the coffee. And make that guy warm. We go both up, though. Oh, give him the decaf, because then he freaks out. Right? I don't know. Open it and go through it. That's how you use a door. Let's say 25 something every 30 minutes. 
Do not sit on machines. Like. Hmm. Use washer. I don't think this thing will ever work again. Can I use my dime with it? Can I use my dime with the dryer? That takes quarters. Of course it does. Can I open it though? Could, but there's nothing to put in there. Ah, okay. Let's go upstairs then. Let's go outside too. See what's out there. Alright, there is an ice machine. So let's go ahead and open that up. Or not. Okay. I didn't tell you to pick it up, I told you to look at it. Can I use it? <laughs> that sounds pretty gross. Whoa, that is a big guy. I turn on the television, wake him up. Four thousand carat diamond can be yours today. The special rock bottom introductory introductory price of two million dollars. Well, I need a. 1-800-STAR-WARS. I need to call 1-800-STAR-WARS. Get that diamond. Or, ooh. Oh, yeah. Pickle fingers. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That didn't do anything. It was a waste of a dime. Use the phone. 1 800 Star Wars. Number doesn't make sense, but whatever. Cost Potato Shopping Channel. Wanda speaking. I want to buy a diamond. It'll be $2 million. Wait, you said. Didn't you say one? Oh, that sucks. So I'm betting you have to do something in the past that changes the future and then you have money uh, to spend. Ooh, whoa, whoa, why is there a surveillance camera looking at that bed? It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Love the cheesy smile. Alright. Mm -hmm. Well, I know what I think I know what I should do. Let's go downstairs, because now I have a spork. I can use that with the dime stuck in it. The gum. Yeah, I know you're not chewing, but no, just... Oh, it's really stuck to the floor, okay. That's all you had to say last time, and I would have stopped. I wonder if I could have gotten something for a dime in this stupid thing. I already wasted the dime on the... I hope this isn't a game where you can mess things up. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my designs. Uh, so I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this techy motel. That, that's, no, don't, whoa, whoa, God, no, man. That is, that was uh, depressing. <laughs> it's incredibly depressing. Gee, you look depressed. Maybe I can help cheer you up. Oh, I want whatever that is. Oh, I can hardly wait. I'm trying to make a happy tune, maybe some calisthenics. Let's discuss philosophy. Uh, that one sounds best. Whistling always makes you feel better. I highly doubt philosophy will help him out, so let's go with calisthenics. You know, get the blood pumping a little bit. I ruptured my spleen, oh my god. You have a body that is not built well. 
Here's my philosophy. I can't wait to hear this. Life is completely pointless, especially mine. Oh, what a niche existence constitutes purpose. There you go. The very fact that you exist means you have purpose. Oh, this guy. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. This guy is not easy to please. Gun was a good tip off. <laughs> Having a crisis here. Warehouse of anguish. Exploding a lollipop. Reverse 3D. <laughs> How does that work? Reverse 3D. Everything looks farther away. Things that are supposed to be in the foreground go to the background or something like that. But, uh, I like your design ideas. Let's, come on, let's get you happy. <sighs> Small talk. It's from Elevator Classic series. Oh, that could, that could depress somebody. So I think we need to turn off the music. That's what's getting to him. Dwayne. No, that's not depressing. You know, there are famous people named Dwayne. You know, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. You are not used, but pick up. Don't know what I'm supposed to use that for. Can I unlock this at all? Can I talk to you again? I'm too depressed to talk. Alright, well we need to figure out what this music is being piped in from and uh, change it. Ooh, it's green. Couldn't stop purple and it's like, no, it's kind of a little... Uh, does that answer your question? Absolutely. Hey. Wanna help me save the world? Can always use some help. Green's my favorite color. I'm afraid to leave the room. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Why the litter box? Don't ask. Oh, I'm really curious though. It's getting out, it's hard. <laughs> you actually use the bowling ball? Purple can now. Yep. <laughs> He needs fickle fingers. He wants to take over the world. Every villain wants to take over the world. Push all the ladies down the stairs. Fall on. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's a great villain villainy thing to do. No one likes it when you do things to small animals. Politics. So, uh, how's your band doing? I think you and Hoagie should team up. Green tea and the sushi platter. Our strongest quality is band, which is... Oh, uh, we get to... Carefully crafted melody and distinctive counterpoint, provocative lyrical content, Intoxicating three-part. Uh, let's just ask him what it is. Volume, man. Volume. We have a chance to win a Grammy Award. <laughs> We're pulling out all the stops. Got any airplay? Are we working on an album? Let's do that one. Looking for a guitarist, man. 
You're the guy who plays power tools instead. You can generate a lot more sound. Going for quantity over quality, clearly. Got any airplay? Got on the radio. A little too experimental. Should uh, get on iTunes. They don't care what you put on there. A CD called Rap on the Forehead. Do the stereo. Oh, that might un undepress the, the guy. We'd make it really loud. So, there's a lot of things we gotta do here. I'm thinking, good luck saving the world. Let's look at those. Looks like it might work. Great. Yeah, pick that up. Check if we're gonna pick up Bernard, you little weakling. Got me like cheese or anything? I'd rather not. Use the on off button. This is loud. <laughs> oh, that's good. Can I pick up that videotape? Alright, well we'll have to find a VHS player. <laughs> ah, VHS. You know, it's crazy. I'm like at that point in my life where, you know, as you grow up and you always hear people older than you saying, oh, we had these back then. But now I'm like at that point where I actually have something like that and your VHS is one of those. Um, plenty of kids probably don't, well they might know what VHS is, I'm sure like teachers probably still use VHS for like Bill Nye videos and stuff like that, but other than that, VHS like isn't in their vocabulary at all, I guarantee you. And, uh, I've been talking over, not like talking over, so there's no audio, but distracting. That's what I'm doing. Share the pain with Bernie. Let's do it. Open up, man. Those bad thoughts. I'm sure it's probably some, something from Maniac Mansion 1, but uh... So I don't know what he's talking about. Of course, it could have been in that text that I wasn't paying attention to. Stamp collecting. How are the folks? Yep, kind of part of that experiment. Flying on a honeymoon? That's, that's not creepy at all. to do tricks. He just sits there reading the paper. He used to have a really smart hamster, but uh, this one just reads papers. Hamster should get some exercise. Get those little legs moving. Puts him to work. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Are you making fun of me? Absolutely. I get upset when people make fun of me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. I, I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> Alright, uh, note to self, do not provoke this guy. Flash of light. Got abducted by aliens. Ding. <laughs> Can I have 
of your stamp collection. Whoa! Calm down there. They're the only friend- oh my god, this guy's insane. And he's huge, so... Not a guy I want to mess with. Jeepers? Uh, okay. That's it. Just jeepers. Not gonna do anything on that. It's whatever. Can I talk to the hamster? No. Can look at it though. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. What does it say? It says something. I've got just like this going back in the garage. Can you really not use it? You suck, Bernard. Alright, now this creepy lady. Oh my god. Oh, so it's still an in. And she is watching people. Oh look, there's a... Uh, our friend Dwayne. And there's the, the Pickle Fingers guy. Didn't look like a high man to me, he looked like he was by himself. I, like... Oh yeah, I can. Use the videotape with the VCR. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh... Push you out the side. Oh god. Isn't there like a... I thought there was something you were supposed to do. Should I get the wrong idea? Dr. Fred's office. Something strange is going on in there. Something strange indeed. Uh, yeah, I just want you out of the room. So I can use the VCR. I need to use it. Uh, is there any way I can get rid of you? Any way at all, kind of. Poke you with a fork? Oh, look, there's the finished statue. Looks awful heavy. Hmm, can I give you some coffee? Decaf one. Can I give you some regular coffee then? We've got some booby boo boo be gone. Oh, so I think that's supposed to be for. Oh, I use boo be gone. Boop, God, boo boo be gone. That's a hard thing to say. Say that five times fast. Boo boo be gone. Boo boo be gone. Boo 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 ja. Yeah, I don't. Uh, whatever. I'm upset. Meanwhilst. Oh. Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Please, triangular man spotted that scene. No, oh, that is purple, 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 purple. The sun dry times. Okay, what is up here? Some file cabinets that apparently you can't use. Is this door gonna be locked? Do I have to go up to the fireplace again? Nope. Anything in here? Not exactly the Ritz. Yeah, it's not exactly a Holiday Inn either. <sighs> not even. I'm gonna call it a Motel 8. So there's this pulley. Can I use the pulley? No, I'm just going with. I don't even know what this crank does. I wonder if you could put something on it. Because you can pull the prank. Push and pull. Like, either way, it does something, but... I'll just make it lower that. So, I don't know. So, let's try going outside. That's not, like, the... smartest course of action right now. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. 
we're looking at like loose now. So actually before I go outside, let's see if that depressed guy isn't as depressed anymore because of the music. Or see if that big guy is woken up because of the music. Can I talk to him? You interested in particle physics? <laughs> Gotta love the unibrow. There's that guy in the next room. <laughs> Just completely ignore me. <laughs> Dogs playing poker make everybody help everybody happy. If there's a picture of cats playing poker, I'd be pretty pissed. Uh, yes, yes, I like his design, big man. I had an uncle. Apparently everyone has an uncle who does something. Hogan has an uncle that had wooden teeth, or false teeth anyway. <laughs> Earthquake hazard. I just love that you're talking to this guy. He's just sleeping the whole time. I need another dime. I need to get the one that's stuck with the gum. How do I get the gum unstuck? That is the question. You've been really helpful. Alright, so we're gonna go outside. And then we're gonna put the coffee. Do the time machine and give the coffee to Guy. Oh, the mummy's here. I talked to dead cousin Ted. <laughs> Apparently, I can talk to uh, a dead guy. Talk to him as ever. talking to someone who's not going to say anything. Okay, let's open the mailbox. Look at it. It's empty. Of course it is. <laughs> 